Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Terence back at it with another video. How are you guys doing? Uh, I really appreciate the support I'm, get, support I'm getting on my uh, previous videos, on my content in particular. <clears throat> Absolutely loving it. Uh, we'll continue to do this no matter what, right? No matter whatever the resistance is, uh, <clears throat> maybe life crisis, etc. Right? Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I just thought of turning on the camera and talking to you guys today. Um, it may be a little preachy, a little ranty today, but. Uh, stick stick through it and hopefully uh, we won't come out of this with something more positive right uh, if you read the title by now right um, the, the, you're, you're probably in the right direction of what this video is going to be about right is to understand why your life or should I say our life is boring right <clears throat> so just to think about it let's let's think about it here we as human beings uh, go through our life like sequences throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the year, and so throughout the month, and then throughout the year, right? So most of us, at least uh, people who are, uh, I'm not talking about teenagers, right? I'm talking about people who have actually have a life and actually have uh, a few responsibilities, responsibilities as such. Uh, <clears throat> generally, if if you follow uh, the pattern that with them, right, throughout the day. You, you will start realizing that there's a series of steps that they, that they do throughout the day and repeat it from Monday to Saturday, Monday to Friday and then there's a pattern again on, on the weekends and then that same pattern continues throughout the year, uh, right? So it's, it's quite obvious and quite easy to detect that, right? And the reason they do that or we do that is because, again, we prob probably have some goals to achieve, some, some um, responsibilities uh, to complete right but is there an end game right for some there is for some there there isn't right for some it's just phasing through life for some it's it's a higher path in life of following these steps and they really love what they do and some people don't love what they do right so there are many areas uh, in terms of which a person follow the follows these sequences of steps right um, so now how does that relate to the video right I'm getting to that <clears throat> when you say uh, when I hear people complain about or when I see uh, people saying that you know oh my life is very boring oh your life is very boring oh uh, hey man your yeah, life is really boring right uh, it's it's either because uh, when you're telling someone else that their life is boring it's either because you're trying to compare your highlights to their sequence of steps or uh, when someone tells you that your life is boring, it's probably because um, of that, sorry. And the other way around is, when <clears throat> you ask yourself, is your life really boring, right? Uh, why do we get that feeling of boring and what is actually boring? Right? Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through the definition of what, what boring means, right? It can have multiple meanings for different people. Uh, but generally, in, in the 21st century and um, the trend through which people are going through life right now people like the millennials or gen z y whatever right if you see they are uh, most 99% of, of of their goals right of, of achieving their goals or, or something uh, that brings them eternal happiness and joy is probably a highlight screen from someone else's else's media right now I'm not talking about uh, just social media, it can be any sort of media. So let's say uh, your friend went to London to take a ride on the L London Eye as an example, right? That highlight, right? Um, you start comparing your entire life or your entire day or your entire week or your entire month, right? Or your, your entire vacation to that highlight that your friend just went to London and came back, right? So what happens is you're comparing your steps which is very normal, right? Uh, these are steps that have to be done uh, for, for the average Joe and probably for 99% of us, right? Um, these normal sequences of steps, they have to be done. And then suddenly you compare it to this highlight of this person. And I'm just using an example of this person who just went to London, right? So, comparing that one small frame of yourself with... Uh, of your friend with your entire st uh, steps that you take throughout the day or through your life, right? Um, the mind triggers because um, you perceive that, that the person the person uh, who experienced that highlight in his life right had so much pleasure and ecstasy that it, 
that it overtakes all the pleasure and ecstasy you, you get from or motivation you get from doing your daily tasks, right? So, <clears throat> in that case, yeah, that is why your life is, bo- is, is you feel is boring, right? Uh, you're comparing yourself with the highlight reel of something else, right? And, and we always blame ourselves, oh, look, my life is boring, I have to do these many things, I have to do those many things, I have to do uh, this kind of work, I don't like this work, I don't like that work, etc., right? But it's very normal, it's, I'm here to let you all know, it's very normal to have those steps. Everyone has the steps. Even that person who, who has a highlight of, let's say, go, going to London, right? What do you think he's doing apart from that? He also has some sequence of steps that he's following. But we are stuck in a loop wherein everyone is looking at each other's highlights, right? Just like how you see in uh, your highlight reels on Instagram or on Facebook or on yeah, other types of media, Tumblr. Who knows if you're still using Tumblr or MySpace, right? Uh, so we're comparing highlights to our entire existence, right? And you feel that you know that the, that sense of pleasure or ecstasy that that person is describing or has been through in in that phase of his his, his highlight, right, is vastly more superior than what you have done. So what it then does is it creates this uh, this mental imbalance, not imbalance. Imbalance is not the right word, but another layer of understanding or another layer of realization that this, the steps that you're doing daily is, is really monotonous and boring but I'm letting you know once again it's very normal to keep doing these steps because this these steps that you're doing has a long term goal right and probably we probably you may be working towards going to London as well before even that guy he probably reached there before you but probably that is your goal I'm just trying to keep things simple and, and uh, hope you all understand that right so yeah, <clears throat> why is your life boring? Because you're doing very normal things. Everyone does them, for, from the president of the United States to the president of I don't know uh, Pakistan to the prime minister of India. Everyone has those normal steps that they have to do, and most of these normal steps are difficult, and, and they are meant to be difficult, right? Because so, because in our day-to-day lives we are giving solutions to problems, right? So if you look at them at, at the very crux. The, the normal routines that you do every day is probably trying to solve something, right? Or trying to help someone, something like that, right? The process of that may be strenuous and hard, right? But there are there are small pleasures here and there, right? However, if we just compare our entire existence with highlights, then that's not going to work, right? I mean, but again, it's it's normal to feel that. I'm not saying it's incorrect to, you know, aspire to someone's, someone's goal that they have achieved and have a vision towards that. That's totally fine. Right, I even have that. Right, um, I even have a vision like that. I'll talk to you guys about that in another video. But yes, so I really thought about it, and 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 I'll put it as simple as possible. You compare your daily daily routines to someone's highlight, and then your mind makes up makes up that uh, the feeling that you know, hey, look, he's doing better in life. But it's not. It's just a slice of his life. It's just a highlight of his life. Next time when you go on vacation and he scrolls through your feed as an example, it's the same thing that he <laughs> he'll be saying, "Oh, look, his life is much better and he's enjoying much more than me, right?" And and he feels that his life is boring, right? So so it's very normal to feel this, right? But I'm just here here to tell you the truth that that is why you're feeling this this kind of uh, uh, this meaning that you that you're going through in life and. And you know, this, uh, some people may be in confusion as to you know, am I just working towards something that is not ha- that has no meaning? No, it does. Those normal steps that you take, right, has some goal. Like, everyone has those normal steps, and, and let me tell you, any anything that that has a reward, like anything that has some reward or has some uh, positive return, right, is always difficult, right. <clears throat> that was quite preachy, right? <laughs> I just gotten deep there. So I just thought about uh, talking to you guys about this, right? As you know, why your life can be boring, or even mine can be boring, right? Right? Uh, especially uh, when we have access to so much data of other people, right? Uh, along with the ours as well, right? We have so much access to data, so that can create uh, a sense or a, or a barrier of you know saying that your life is boring or meaningless. It's not the the, the daily uh, the daily the daily monotonous things that you do. Have, have values and everyone does it and everyone have, has to do it. Think about it, if if, if the person who invented the light, the light bulb, right, <laughs> if he can compare himself, uh, you know, to someone um, 
let's say a king that a king or a ruler in his time right because of his, if he had there was social media then right he he probably would have not um do you think he would have stopped working on the like but probably not right so that's what i'm getting at right? so don't get all worked up that you know your life is boring you no know, everyone's life is boring in the person uh, if the person traveling to space whose life is so exciting is boring right i mean take a look at uh, elon musk's uh, life he the guy sleeps in his office right the person is is a billionaire now yes him sending people to mars or he going to mars soon maybe uh, maybe kind of a vacation for him because that's what it looks like <laughs> he is totally addicted to getting to mars right as quickly as possible right but understand that he also has these normal steps he also sleeps in the office he also uh, you know does like 10 conference meetings in a day and you know has uh, 120 hours a week uh, 120 hours in a week to work right so it it, it is it is normal right uh so yeah i'll not i'll not continue this video anymore it's already been uh, quite some time uh, more than 10 minutes and it has been long so let me know how you felt about uh, this realization that i just discussed hopefully it added value to you guys right feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments keep liking the videos right uh, watching my videos sharing my videos it really helps me motivates me to keep going right <coughs> Yeah so tomorrow's video may be a little different I I'm unsure if I may upload or not I am just going through a few things but hustle keep grinding right uh yeah guys so I guess I catch you all guys tomorrow um uh, feel free to comment subscribe do all that stuff click the notification bell icon if you uh want to get uh messages about my video right until then take care